the wine that puts me straight to bed. No Jay Holiday. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. I am so tired. I went to bed at one yesterday. Every morning for the last week, I've been waking up a little sniffly and then half an hour later, I'm perfectly fine. So I don't know what's going on with that. I didn't have the heater on last night, so I don't know what it is, but hey who? You're with me for another week and at least this week is starting off with something. I don't know what I can say for the rest of the week, but we're gonna start off with the juice cleanse. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do two videos. So one with just the juice cleanse, why I'm doing it, what is healthy about it, X, Y, and Z, or just as the first day of this vlog. Oh my God. <coughs> what is this? Oh, my tummy. Yo, I didn't order anything. I can't see what this is. So let's open it. Scissors, AKA keys. Ooh, I know what this is. Foots, Foots sent me to share with you some socks. <laughs> That's what I like. No idea what this says. I'm gonna zoom in on a bit. And, oh, they wrote a little note. I can't wait to read it. Whoever wrote this has nice writing. Oh, wow, that's so nice of them. They gave me two pairs of these socks, which I believe are their performance socks. Wow, they're so soft. They're a good price too. Oh, wow, they gave me so many. And then they gave me this color, which is oatmeal. It's so pretty. This is their like women's dress sock. This one seems to be a little thicker. Even though it's spring, it's still cold. Like I'm freezing in my apartment. So I'm about to put one of these on right after I finish my yoga sash. But then there's this one. Oh, this is perfect. This is like a, a boot sock, which is gonna be really, oh, there's two. Oh wow, that's a lot of socks. Wow, that's pretty good. That's even better for the price then. I didn't pay for them. They sent it to me to share with you guys. But if you look online, the price of these are really, really good, especially for the quality. I might be like, <laughs> okay, you know you're adulting when you're excited to get socks in the PR box. Like, what is life? But I love socks. You can ask my mom every Christmas. She's like, what do you want? I'm like, socks. And she gives me socks and I'm so happy because I hate buying them. But when you have the right pair of socks, I swear it sets your day up right. These feel really good. I can tell you I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these too. Not just in the winter because, hey, where's spring? It's still cold here in the sick. I shouldn't be this excited for socks. Like, what's wrong with me? This is how you know the pandemic is getting to me. I've been sipping on this. This is a third of the drinks. It's 10 a.m. and where is time going? I just find myself doing things I'm not supposed to do. I've been filming the complete version of this video. So if you want to see that, I'll link it to this one. But I'm going to pick a yoga session. I have to pick, I have to choose wisely because the rest of my day is depending on my energy expenditure. When you're not eating food food, your body is gonna find a different way because digestion takes up a lot of energy. It's your brain and your guts that use the most energy in your body. So I don't wanna use any more during this day than I need to. So we're probably gonna stretch. So let's stretch and strengthen. Let's just keep it light. Maybe I'll do a moderate instead of an intermediate because yesterday's workout was, did you see that? If you saw last week's vlog, you know I was falling out of all the poses. I don't want to do an inversion. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Today is not the day for that. Yoga for beginners? No, because my mind is going to wander. It's always good to do beginner yoga no matter how long you've been practicing because there's things that beginners or instructors for beginners are going to tell you that you forget when you've been doing it for so long. And the thing about yoga and life is like you never really get it right so revisiting what you consider a beginner class may end up being advanced if you're so used to going fast or so used to doing something a certain way but relearning the poses can really help ground you in a completely different way okay i need to stop talking i need to pick a class uh, the day is going away from me so fast hey guys welcome to class this is a 30 minute Stomach to thighs only then. Now, rooting down through the balls of the feet, especially the big toes, pressing the heels forward, Ooh. lifting the knees up, three, kick forward until the right heel is stretching forwards even more than the mountain hinge until you come parallel to the floor. 
outer right thigh down center of the chest forward just listening to one of my favorite live streams waiting for my hair to dry maybe it'll dry fast if i take it out of the towel it's already been 10 minutes Whew. we're gonna go from curly to straight today i'm a little scared because i was playing with my hair the other night and I noticed that this side is still longer, even after I cut it a couple months ago. So we're gonna see how this goes. I've been dealing with so much breakage lately. Like if you've seen my shower, after I shower every day, you'd wonder how I still have any hair left on my head. So let's go do that. I love listening to lives like these. They're so good, I love learning. And it's been a minute since I've done my hair this way. I don't even think I've taken out my flat iron yet this year. I'm trying to think if I did my hair in January. I don't even think it was straight in January. Let's see how we do. Mm. Don't know if that's saying much for my hair being damaged and easy to flat iron or because this flat iron is so good and I forgot how good it is. But I have a feeling it's not gonna take as, ow! Wow, I'm really rusty. I'm burning myself, choking on the smoke. What's going on here? Can you tell yet? <laughs> It's like three inches longer on this side. That was a quick press. Oh, my bathroom smells like flat iron hair. I forgot about that. It's poofy, but I actually like the volume. It's not as damaged as I thought it would be, although my ends are looking crispy. Should I cut it myself? Do you think I should take the chance? I'm kind of afraid. Last time I did it, it did not end well. All I gotta do is make it even though. Can you tell from the back? Ooh, what am I gonna do? It going. I think this is genius. Yeah. Meanwhile, while I'm wearing glasses, because my eyes are so fatigued, they got worse, like way worse than the last week. But what's a girl gonna do? It's time to have another juice. This live is annoying me, I, probably because I don't really care about, like I want a cure, but my, I don't like paying attention to that because then you get it. Let me speak for myself. I want a cure, but I don't want to obsess over one. And the first half of this was a lot of the same questions people ask, like, is there a cure? When will there be a cure? X, Y, Z, this, that, and the next. I liked when they discussed, can I speak today? I liked when they discussed about nutrition though. They're right now recommending that, you know, you magnify and you change the contrast and the brightness. These are all things I've already done. So I'm like, what's next? Come on, specialist. You gotta have something better than that. So, yeah, sometimes when I'm listening to Stargard's news, it makes me feel worse than I already do. So cold. <laughs> it's after four, I have started to sip on Deep Roots. This is another one that I bought quite a few times on its own because it is that good. This is the only veggie juice that I actually like. It's the beats for me. Just gonna go on a quick little walk. I have to be back in time to take my next drink. <laughs> that sounds so weird but I figured I'd get a little bit of air, clear my mind a bit. I've been thinking, 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 thinking way too much. Listening to the weirdest podcast of life, pretty much what the guest is saying is that if you know two people who are named Adam, it's actually raining, that's why my hood is on. If you know two people who are named Adam or Emily, you are likely to know over a thousand people. But what about all the people that don't know Adams or Emilys at all? I feel like that's so specific. Plus you could know a thousand people and they could all have cultural names. It's a very strange way of measuring something. As long as I can get through Monday, it's a good day. Cause you know, something usually happens on Monday. So I'm just minding my business, working on my thumbnail for the video that is uploading now. And I hear some creaking by my door and I'm like, that's weird. Cause usually if it's something to be dropped off, they just knock and they walk away. But I hear creaking for a good 30 seconds. And I'm like, um, I didn't hear any of my neighbor's doors open. Then I go to the door, I look through the peephole. I can't really see that well, but I see a human being. Can't tell if it's male or female. And then as I'm staring there, I can still hear the creeping. So this person's like, kind of moving but not moving then the light flashes and i'm like oh my god is he trying to see through the peephole too and then i hear like two things be dropped and i'm like oh it's my packages he probably just has to take a picture of the door to prove that he did drop it off because there's been a lot of thieveries lately as far as deliveries go but that was 
my heartbeat started racing. I'm like, is this the purge? Is he coming for me? My door is locked though. I would, um, this is how you know I'm sleep deprived, guys. So I'm up early. I was trying to sleep in past my alarm, which still gives me an hour before my shift, but my body wasn't having it. My back, my shoulder here. So you know what, I'm, I'm gonna do this quick stretch, yoga sesh. Ooh, and hopefully pop that out. It is already starting to go down. Not mad at that. I don't even know what was happening with that yesterday. And I'm like, ooh, I have to film a video. Not a good look, but that's how it goes some days. I'm just about to try this. Have you tried it yet? I've heard a lot of good things and a lot of bad things about it, but I wanted to try it myself to see if this is better than the Patrick Ta brow gel. So Anastasia, let's see how you do. It's supposed to be comparable to the Patrick Ta, but we shall see. I really love this one. The packaging is everything. But I've always loved Anastasia brow pencil, brow gel, brow everything. So I even like their eyeshadows. Can you see I try to do a little eyeshadow look today? Maybe I need to retire that with the vision I have left. I should be using it for something more wise. Okay, do I have to wet this? No, it's already... Oh, okay. So this one I don't have to spray. I'm already here for it because spraying that one every day is a little bit annoying. Dip right... Oof! Oof! Wow, that is different. The good thing is because it's wet and my brush is in, I can feel which side I'm supposed to turn it. All right, we'll see if this flakes throughout the day. I'm not gonna put a brow pencil in it today because I just wanna see how it wears on its own. Ooh, this is so sticky though. I might need to, I don't wanna buy a spoolie. I wish the stores were still open so I could get some of those sample spoolies. Yes, I'm a cheapo like that. Why would I spend $30 for a spoolie? Wow, I'm actually quite impressed with that. And it feels soft. Okay, Anastasia, I see you. Do you have time for it? Is it more than two years? Mm-hmm. We come and each other. Because new trust funds are technically for longer pay, longer term saving goals, and in a long term has higher potential of return. And then also the long contribution for your goals. Okay, I got you. Deserted. I haven't been in this neighborhood so long, it feels foreign to me. I guess I'm walking alone, it's okay if I take it off for a bit. <sighs> Breathe. I'm just on my way to Whole Foods to grab a couple things that aren't available at the supermarkets near me. It's so funny, I go traveling to go to different grocery stores. This is my life now. I'm so shook. This is the first time I've come here and there wasn't a line. God is definitely on my side today. But it works. Where is the rice? Is it here? No. No, that's not black rice, that's quinoa. This question when I study nutrition in school, why is eating healthy so expensive? I really want to know. Thank you. Take care. haul literally i got four things and it came up to 36 dollars. not capping that's the truth that's insane you would think i never drank in my life i didn't just do a whole juice cleanse yesterday all i did was hydrate black rice cream of earl grey tea i can't tell you the last time i had tazzle so i got some green tea i don't feel like placing an order to david's tea because they're so expensive now it's $75 for free shipping, it used to be 50. I think a pandemic is the wrong time to raise your free shipping minimum. My mom, some fiery ginger. I had one, if you watched the video, you know that I had one as part of my juice cleanse. I swear by these, they were sold out when I went to the greenhouse by my house. So I went to Whole Foods to get them. Excuse the noise my fridge is making, it's so rude to interrupt, but I'm so excited. I got the last loaf of olive bread. Ah, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. Just so you can see it in its goodness. All right, I'm gonna cut some, have some Montreal smoked meat from Montreal Jeff gave me. Eat my orange, l'orange. I wish I could share this loaf with all of you. Whenever I'm feeling blue, this is what I'm feeling to do. Bake, bake, bake. I would tell you what's going on, but it's not my business to share. And partially, honestly, I gotta process it myself. Ooh, you know what time it is, cream cheese time. No, cheesecake time. I don't know if it has to be room temperature as in warm, but all three of these are super soft. Oh, 
Is it actually dry already? Oh no, I did so much work a couple of vlogs ago to make this soft. Oh, it is very soft. It just needed a quick stir. We are the first wife. They're buying. Can you hear me or is it too loud over here? Whew. Earlier this morning, I was on Facebook looking for pictures from Antigua. I didn't realize that I never uploaded them there. So I lost all my pictures from my last trip and my baby cousin grew so much since. I don't want to get hit by a car while I'm vlogging. That's not a good look. So it sucks because none of those pictures are on my hard drive anymore. But yeah, as I was saying, as I was going through some of my old Facebook pictures, I'm like, I wonder how so-and-so is doing. Because there's so many people in my albums that I haven't talked to in years. And I remember when I was going out all the time, my mom would be like, you have so many friends. Every week it's a different birthday. Are these people going to be there for you when you really need it? <sighs> I'm not going to say much about that. So happy that I went for that morning walk. You know, I was lying in bed. I didn't really sleep well last night. And I'm like, instead of having these aches and pains from being in bed, let's just get up and go for a walk. Even though it's gloomy out, you can probably see behind me. It was better I do that. <sighs> I feel better. Oh, wow. Look at my cheesecake. Hey, It turned out pretty well. I wonder if it tastes good. I haven't tried it yet, clearly. Um, I might not try it for a few days because... I don't really want to jump right in to eating cheesecake after a juice cleanse. Don't ask what I was doing. It didn't make sense to me either. Ooh la la. What a pretty latte. Oy, 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 oy. The cheesecake cracked anyway, but I wrapped it now. The only reason why I left it unwrapped is so it wouldn't crack. That reminded me that I need to take my supplements. So for any of you who are new to my channel, you may not know that for the last couple of months, I've been taking biotin. My nails and my hair don't grow. And when they do, I mean, figure one right here. <laughs> Let's just hide that away for now. I'm gonna cut it tonight. And my nails are always peeling, chipping, getting caught at the very edge with hair or snagging on fabric. It's not a good look. And yes, I do take pills like this. I don't take water with it. As I was saying, one down. I usually take this at night, but I've forgotten. So I'm gonna take it now. I don't remember the last time I took this. <laughs> Is Omega. Now this is good for your brain function, for your vision, for healthy skin, hair. Because the truth is when you get it from Little Fishy, they get it from algae. So you might as well get it from the source, from the source, from the source, from the source. A lot of people ask if I take supplements for star guards. I don't. I used to take lutein and zeaxanthin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Did that, didn't see any results. I don't take anything that's high in vitamin A because as much as I spent years trying to reduce it in my diet, it's okay to eat it. It's not gonna kill you. It's just when you have supplements or you eat too much of it that it might deteriorate your vision faster. So there's that. But yeah, the supplements I take are mostly for other things. So the magnesium is for my joints and my muscles 
and the omega-3 is for my brain the biotin is for the beauty thing so yeah hey are you done already has it really been three hours oh wow the day is flying by i should be editing but i'm going through and deleting old pictures from facebook and i also i don't know why listening to kevin scam scamuels no samuels my bad for some reason it sparked me to open up my little journal and start writing I was deleting photos because I don't want to look at his face while I'm doing this. I think he's still going. He's probably on mute. Yeah. He's just talking. He fascinates me. I don't know. <sighs> Ugh. On the fence. Speaks a lot of truth. The delivery is a little rough. I just wrote down something that I wanted to share with you, which is... If I can read my writing. There's a world beyond your limitation. I mean, a lot of good can come out of listening to Kevin Samuels while you're deleting old party pictures that had no business being on the internet in the first place. This man is a savage. Savage. I should call in one day. Let's make some, Ooh, not that. Oregano. Mm -hmm. The scientist song is in my head. It's been in my head all morning. Instinctually, I want to reach for water. There isn't any. Ah, oh, no foam. Okay, so what had happened was... Do I look a mess? Probably I do. Honestly, guys, if this vlog sucks, just know I'm going through a family emergency. And that's why I'm a bit off. I'm trying to keep it together. I got a lot to do with work. The world doesn't stop just because your life has a lot going on. That's one thing I've learned even before this panorama pandemic. And two, I got to do a post for the gram. Actually, you know what? Double phone. Holding it together, I saw a psychic a couple years ago. I don't know if I would recommend, it was a very interesting experience. But one thing that he said, he said many things that I remember. One thing he said that stood out to me was that I'm the type of person that can handle the calamities of life, but like an oak tree, it's the little things, the termites nibbling away that get to me. So I'm holding it together for the sake of this vlog. Just know a lot is going on. I did two pods last night and that helped me just, whew, you know, anytime I'm productive, it helps a little bit. Everyone's telling me I can't go too far to the future. It's funny, this is what I always say, so I'm taking my own advice today, that's for sure. Creative of way to advertise these. I don't think it's appropriate for me to wear the white ones with the chocolate sweats. So let's just set that one back. Ooh, I gotta shred up some of my receipts. Perfect timing. I bust a hole through so many of my brown socks. And you would think it'd be warm enough that I wouldn't even need socks in May, but no, no. Toronto's feeling more like September right now. You see that? You can't make this ish up. This is not just to pop in the oven while I take a shower type of thing. Ooh, I'm gonna have to actually fry it up. So let's see how we do with this. Send signals to other bananas. And seeing as I bought more bananas today, I'm not trying to get those to ripen just yet. So I keep moving them around my place. I don't know how far the signals go. It's not like Wi-Fi. Up my video that I was filming earlier today, which is why you haven't seen much of me. 
I was just doing a little in dire need of a pamper routine type of thing. There we go. to let down my hair for this it's actually really good for mock crab cakes i think it's gonna because of this now i want to call my great grandma in the morning to ask her for her recipe for fish cakes because i remember eating them maybe two three times in my whole life but those are the best and someone once told me someone once told me last week a friend told me you know you better ask your great grandma for all the recipes while she's still here because her birthday was on april 29th she turned 93, so I don't want to be one of those Caribbean women that don't have a few authentic family passed down the tree type of recipes. Or maybe the toes come up and breathe for three. Heels together if the feet are off the floor. For two, one, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing this way. A, I'm pretty sure it's dishwasher safe. I don't even know. This is the first time that I've used this for more than once a week. Usually I use it once a month, if that. Okay, it smells gross in there. Let's make a smoothie bowl. So by the time, pop it in the freezer. So by the time I get out of the shower, it's chilled enough to put stuff and top it with. So these bananas, they're ripe, ripe. But maybe I should use a frozen banana though. Yes. It's a whole banana. Get my avocados in. All right. I washed this yesterday. Some sun. Definitely need to get out. Do you do that too when you're cutting something? You start to eat it? This one is sour. What's your favorite fruit, by the way? Coconut is everything. And she, I haven't even cut any to put in there yet. <laughs> I can't see if I'm cutting off the skin. So coconut, honeydew, lychee. Those are my top three. How about you? All the baby foods, the ones that we grew up on, like apples, peaches, pears, plums, and bananas, they're all right. They remind me of after school snacks. I really, like I used to love mangoes, but since they're high in vitamin A, I strayed away for so many years. But now that I realize my vision's getting worse anyway, and it's not good to cut out vitamin A completely. I'm like, I'm gonna have it from time to time. There's an easier way of cutting mangoes than this. Did you know that in the wild, there's a certain type of monkey that will cut, well not cut, they don't have knives. They'll bite a mango, and because they don't want their hands to get sticky, they'll just dash it and bite another one. What a waste of mangoes. Smell burning rubber, should I be concerned? I need a new blender. I've been needing a new blender. You saw what happened last summer. Ew, this color is so disgusting though. Baby barf, there we go. I need to make sure it's easier to separate. Oh my gosh. The people in my building are the best. That's that on that. Literally from building management, superintendent, the people that I bump into at the laundry room, on the elevator, everyone's just good vibes. Friends, I'm telling you, it never ends. I wish in a different world that YouTube was my only book. I mean, it's a job in itself. It's too personal to be hanging up bras on YouTube. Probably not, I'm here, so this is lifestyle. Heard from Lovely T that there's a shortage of, uh, what does she call it? The type of people who can do like hands-on work. Imagine, well, I could probably figure out something that I can do that's handy, that doesn't involve seeing a screen. Oh, not the plumbers, because they work hard and they save our lives. They also get paid well too, so there's that. My head is in the clouds, but I'm about to bring it back down because I got some coffee. I want this glass. I always dilute my coffee with boiling water. And then all the rest is gonna be open. Why, why is this still open? I need to get it together. Oopsies. <laughs> Was that did you hear that how is it almost two o'clock already where is time go fork i need to get it together spoon let's see how this tastes probably shouldn't have both of these together since the caffeine from this is going to cancel out the dairy in this 
well, not the dairy, but the calcium. It's all right. It kind of remind, reminds me of the antibiotic, you know, the banana flavored antibiotic they give you as a kid? That's what it's giving me. For some reason today, my milk just didn't want to foam. Then I realized that clink I heard was the frother bit. It fell off and fell into the water turned back on. So I was able to do what I've been needing to do. I just used this lotion. I wanted to talk to you guys about it because it's so good. Jeff gave it to me and I'm an ashy Larry. So this is coming in handy, pun intended. It's not just a hand lotion, it's a body lotion, but it's the first lotion in a long time that actually moisturizes the way I need it to. Give this one a go because it's got ashy Larry stamp of approval. Thanks, Jeff. I can't keep trying to capture footage of trains for you. People are probably gonna think I'm up to no good on this bridge. <laughs> it's so pretty today. It's not that warm. I probably won't say it's warm. Oh, the birds. I probably won't say it's warm until midsummer anyway, but I got my layers on, just breathing the air, trying to unwind as best as possible. Lower your ankles as much as you can close to the floor, point your feet, lift it up, extend. Okay, so doing this is not the easiest, so let's try in out effortless so let's let's keep proceeding and see how this goes index in one line palms on the floor bend the elbows bend the knees Ooh, up on your teeth that you hurts the here of the armpits. and trust yourself enough to shift the weight into the finger loves catch 22 i want to use up all of my eyeshadow palettes first of all what was i thinking when i bought this this is probably the ugliest palette of life it had to be the packaging it had to be the feel of it. Just wear. But I'm trying to make it my mission to use up all my makeup before I can't even see to do it. So today's look is literally one look, one shadow on the lids. And then I just brushed a little bit underneath. You probably can't even see because neither can I. Anywho, I'm all over the place. I need to find out what happened to the sock. Does this happen to you? Every time I do the laundry, I lose a sock. I checked all the machines. I checked the floor. I checked the bag twice. I can't believe tomorrow's Saturday. I'm looking forward to filming last week in the world because I have so much to say about what's going on. Have you ever invested in anything before? I've had savings, but I've never invested. And it's not like I'm this big baller, but I definitely want to become wealthy one day. Not rich, rich, wealthy. I think there's more to be said about having wealth, especially when you have a disability. So I'm just trying to secure my future the best way I can. I'm not going to be able to do this forever, so trying to set myself up and <laughs> it's scary playing with your money i never gamble when i go to vegas for this exact reason but at least the motivation is different when you're investing versus going to the casino you know anything can happen look at what happened last year you can't depend on anything or anyone so get your savings up make sure you got as many months of savings as you can it's the most important thing more important than filling up your closets if i knew what i knew now back then i wouldn't have half the clothes i had no foam friday what's going on the frother's not working it happened when i got up to make a matcha in that time matcha takes maybe five minutes to make lunch du jour a butternut squash soup with some crackers I was looking at these and I'm like, I really want to do something about this. On YouTube, a girl had a really glossy one and I thought that's how the unit came, but it turns out she put contact paper. I want to try it. The only thing is I don't have a screwdriver. I should probably have one. I feel like every household should have a basic kit, but if I could get some glossy contact paper, hey, this could take it up a notch because I really, I don't know, maybe it's because it's starting to jab a little bit. I kept them clean though for three years. They don't look tainted at all, just a little nick. Okay, here comes the hard part. I think it's, I think it's working. It took me three years to finally be able to use that thing. I had to memorize how often to press each button to make it work. Oh, that's going, which sock should I choose today? I think I'm gonna do one of these performance socks. Are they the same pair? I still can't believe it's two sets in there. Ooh, they feel really nice. Why is it so hard? 
Oh look, someone left my sock here. Thank God. I can't really understand this weather. I'm wearing my winter coat because it's cold. I swear this time last year I was beach bumming it out, so I don't know what's going on. Now I see why all my cousins who live in warmer climates don't want to come here. This is spring and it's seven degrees. Because the last time I tried to record, it doesn't even matter. Anyway, I went to the LCBO on my little walk, my little flanoring wandering session. And I got not one, but two Italian wines, vino, because Michael, one of my Patreons, commented on my last video for 30 Days of Blind, and he recommended that I use my wine fairy skills to share my favorite wines with you. And one of them is the Suave. I'm probably not saying it properly. <laughs> hey, I pulled the wines. I got a harness and I pulled the wines down. Don't know if I can pronounce them all. And this is not even the same brand that we had when I worked at the restaurant, but hey, eventually, I don't know if it's gonna be next weekend because I'm not even in the, room, the mood to get Liddy this weekend, but I will definitely share this with you and do a little wine pairing video. And then this one, I don't even know what it is. I can't see the label to tell you what it is. I know it was $10 hala, so I'm all about those affordable vinos. Can't tell you if it's good because I haven't had it yet, but I've always loved this wine. My favorite wines, just so you can get a taste, pun intended, of what I like, are Sauvignon Blanc, number one, Gourche Gaminer, number two, which is very, very sweet. I love it. It's not as sweet as a Moscato, but it's pretty sweet. And then a tie between a Chardonnay and a Riesling, which are on opposite scales, but it depends what day and what I feel like. I love rosé, rosé all day. I know it's a basic bee drink. And a red is the international drink of winter. Although a lot of my friends like to drink it all year round and I don't know how they can because that's the wine that puts me straight to bed. No Jay Holiday. So anyway, I'm gonna put this in my cupboard and you'll be seeing this one soon. This one I might enjoy, not this weekend, but I might not film it because I don't know if it's gonna be good. So we shall see. And yeah, as per usual, if you have suggestions for videos for me, leave them down below. Cloudy day. It started off sunny and then the clouds came and I'm like, what again? This week for last week in the world, I don't want to make it a habit to always talk about negative things because that's the reason why I avoid the news. So I'm not trying to bring that negativity to my channel. But two world news thing. It just gets to be too heavy when you see how much doesn't change. All right. Woof, that's bright. Hope that my makeup doesn't look a hot mess though. That's a wrap. I got my two takes just in case the audio was a little finicky on one. Gonna take the setup down. The camera battery died for the light box. Just my luck. The sun came out, but after I finished filming, so the quality is a little grainy. I'm starting to realize though this quality isn't as good as it used to be. I don't know if it's the camera, which if you watch my Mexico vlog, you know what happened to it. I'm going to make a quick lunch, eat. I already cleaned up this morning, so I don't have to do that. Maybe I'll go on a walk while the sun is still high in the sky, come back, edit, and schedule that video for midnight tonight. And maybe I'll try a slice of cheesecake. Although it's kind of weird because I wanted to present the whole cheesecake to my friend. Zin, 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 zin. <laughs> Clouds. Is it coming or going? Try one of these. Can you see the line behind me? All those people are trying to get their ganja burns on this weekend. Typical Saturday by the school. Tons of people are working out. Just getting some fresh air. I should have worn my winter coat. Even though this is fleece, it's still not enough. All right, let's see how this tastes. 
there were a couple guys and I wasn't sure if they were checking me out or maybe because I'm so cake faced or like who wears so much makeup during a pandemic. Do I open this? There's a tag here. I feel like you pull it, right? This is more of a breakfast drink, if anything, but now that I'm home, I'm going to edit the last week in the world video. Maybe watch another episode of The Handmaid's Tale and just relax. I'm going to wrap up this weekly vlog. Depending on my mood tomorrow, I might skip a week just because I really need to decompress and ground. And I think the time I would take to talk with you guys throughout the week and let you know what I'm up to, all that stuff, I think it might be good just for me to take a week off. I'll still do maybe the week in the world next Saturday, but to film vlog every day, I think I need a little break. So if you don't see me next week, you know why. If you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks as always for hanging out with me. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.